Hi, I'm Pao Ling and I'm an artist and actuary based in London. My journey in art started in Malaysia, where I trained in Chinese ink painting and calligraphy. I had my first solo art exhibition when I was 13 and I have exhibited internationally since then. I came to the UK to study architecture and after my postgraduate degree, I started working in the actuarial field. I now work for the Bank of England and have recently started as a conman at the Treasury. Nevertheless, I never stop painting because art and design is a great passion of mine. In this video, I will be talking about a charity art project that I have been working on since July 2020. The title of this project is Pandemic Portraits, Our Bank Behind the Screens. This initiative is where I use art to promote an inclusive culture and to raise empathy levels within the Bank of England by painting a range of colleagues who have overcome varying personal struggles during the pandemic in order to deliver the important mission of the Bank of England. Despite our unique challenges, we continue to work and help navigate the economic crisis and e-withdrawal. All these hard work and sacrifices are hidden in our homes behind our screens and rarely shared. I felt that this portrait series would be a conduit for us to share our diverse experiences. The Bank of England Museum will be keeping the original paintings as a record of how we have collectively kept the bank and their economy going despite our personal circumstances. The inspiration behind this project is hard to pin down, but I suppose it's a combination of two things. Number one, it's me witnessing the challenges that my colleagues had to overcome during lockdown, such as bereavement and childcare. And number two, my own personal struggles that I had to overcome since mid-2019. In fact, in September this year, I suffered my third injury in lockdown, which unfortunately landed me in A&E. And that was tough mentally, emotionally and physically. I struggled to finish one of the paintings, but thankfully I managed by resting the injured leg on a chair while standing on one leg to paint. And in early October, I unveiled the first two portraits of this series, which I will share with you here. I will be painting a few more colleagues and we will exhibit the paintings in March next year to mark the one year anniversary of lockdown. Each painting will be paired with a personal narrative by the sitter about their lockdown reflections. I'm honored that the Bank of England has been so enthusiastic about my idea and I hope these paintings will resonate with you wherever you are. I would also like to thank my sitters who have so graciously and so generously shared their stories with me. My first sitter was Ratitzo Starkey. I wanted to portray the strength and steely determination of Ratitzo as a mother, an expecting mother and an advocate for black and ethnic minority rights. Against the turbulent backdrop of the pandemic, Ratitzo could not share the good news of her pregnancy with her loved ones in person, as the country went into lockdown shortly after her first scan. Her excitement had been overshadowed by worries of her health as a black woman. Black women in the UK are more likely to die in childbirth than white women. They are also more likely to be admitted to hospital with COVID-19. At the time of her pregnancy, the then ongoing Black Lives Matter protests added to her worries of her children's future. Ratizzo chose to distract herself by plunging into work and to use her role as co-chair of the Black and Ethnic Minority Rights Network within the bank as an outlet to champion for equality at the workplace. I wanted to paint Ratizzo staring squarely at the viewer, fearlessly confronting challenges head on whilst protecting her child in her womb. The background is turbulent, 
which is a reflection of the personal struggles that she had to go through whilst navigating and making sense of the wider societal struggles during this period. My next sitter was Andrew Bailey. It was a grey, rainy August morning when I met Andrew, which I felt was apt given the gravity of the pandemic. Andrew became governor on the 16th of March 2020, and three days later, the bank rate was cut to 0.1% in an emergency monetary policy committee meeting. And one week after he became governor, the country went into lockdown. Although he has this incredibly important professional role, I chose to capture his personal dimension. We see a lot of his corporate side in the media, so I was interested in capturing the informal side of Andrew that is not seen in public. So this is not intended as a corporate portrait of Andrew. When I met Andrew, there were glimpses of his candidness when he spoke fondly about his family and lockdown gardening. But I noticed there is always an undertone of what I saw as a focused and rather serious and measured person. Therefore, I chose to paint a triple portrait of Andrew. Anchoring the composition is the central figure, the core character of Andrew, the serious Andrew. And flanking the central figure, I depict the glimpses of the candid Andrew. These moments were fleeting, hence the quick brush strokes, which is in contrast with the more careful treatment that I gave to the central figure. The left figure depicts Andrew describing the flight path over the Bank of England during lockdown. The right figure captures the moment of slight vulnerability and hesitation when he sat gingerly on his favourite stone bench in the courtyard of the Bank of England, which was wet in the rain. Lastly, I thought it would be good to give you an idea of the relative sizes of the different paintings. I hope you have enjoyed this video clip. Thank you very much. And please do get in touch if you would like to find out more about me and my art.